Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm Brother Bill and I'm glad you could join me. This is the evening prayer for Wednesday, January the 4th. The scripture for this service, Psalm 89, verse 1 to 19. Joshua, chapter 3, verse 14 to chapter 4, verse 7. And the Song of Moses, Exodus 15, verse 1 through 6, 11 through 13, and 17 and 18. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will sing forever of your love, O oh, beloved God. Alleluia. Psalm 89. I will sing forever of your love, O oh, beloved God. Through all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. With my chosen one I have made a covenant. I've sworn to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. The heavens proclaim your wonders, O God, the assembly of your holy ones proclaims your truth. For who in the skies can compare to you? Who is like you among the children of God? A God to be feared in the council of the holy ones, great and dreadful, revered above all. O beloved God of hosts, who is your equal? You are mighty, and truth is your garment. It is you who rule the sea in its pride, it is you who still the surging of its waves. It is you who trod Rahab underfoot like a corpse, scattering your foes with your mighty arm. The heavens are yours, the world is yours. It is you who founded the earth and all that it holds. It is you who created the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon shout for joy at your name. Yours is a mighty arm. Your hand is strong, your right hand ready. Justice and right are the pillars of your throne. Love and truth walk in your presence. Happy the people who acclaim such a God, who walk in the light of your face, who find their joy every day in your name, who make your justice the source of their bliss. For you are the glory of their strength. By your favor it is that our might is exalted. For our ruler is in the keeping of our God, our king in the keeping of the Holy One of Israel. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I will sing forever of your love, O beloved God. Alleluia. The lesson is from the, the uh, prophet Joshua, chapter 3, beginning at verse 14. When the people set out from their tents to cross over the Jordan, the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant were in front of the people. Now the Jordan overflows its banks throughout the time of harvest. So when those who bore the Ark had come to the Jordan and the feet of the priests bearing the Ark were dipped into the edge of the waters. The waters flowing from above stood still, rising up in a single heap far off at Adam, the city that is beside Zarephan, while those flowing toward the sea of the Arabah, the Dead Sea, were wholly cut off. And then the people crossed over opposite Jericho, while all Israel were crossing over on dry ground. The priests who bore the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh stood on dry ground in the middle of the Jordan until the entire nation finished crossing over the Jordan. And when the entire nation had finished crossing over the Jordan, Yahweh said to Joshua, Select twelve men from the people, one from each tribe, and command them, Take twelve stones from here out of the middle of the Jordan, from the place where the priest's foot stood, 
and carry them, oh, carry them over with you, and lay them down in the place where you camp tonight. And then Joshua summoned the twelve men from the Israelites, whom he had appointed, one from each tribe. And Joshua said to them, Pass on before the ark of Yahweh your God into the middle of the Jordan, and each of you take up a stone on his shoulder, one for each of the tribes of the Israelites, so that this may be a sign among you. When your children ask in times to come, what do those stones mean to you? Then you shall tell them that the waters of the Jordan were cut off in front of the Ark of the Covenant of Yahweh when it crossed over the Jordan. The waters of the Jordan were cut off, so these stones shall be to the Israelites a memorial forever. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, that your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill, that we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, that there may be peace in Jerusalem, unity in your church, and peace in the whole world, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. That we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Francis and Claire and all your saints, entrusting one another and all of our lives to Christ and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Alleluia! I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. The Song of Moses I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Horse and rider you've thrown into the sea. You are my strength and my might, and you have become my salvation. You are my God, I praise you. My ancestors, God, I exalt you. You are a mighty warrior, and Yahweh is your name. Pharaoh's chariots and his army you cast into the sea. His picked officers were sunk in the Red Sea. The floods covered them. They went down into the depths like a stone. Your right hand, O God Most High, glorious in power, your right hand, O God Most High, shattered the enemy. Who is like you among the gods? Who is like you, majestic in holiness, awesome in splendor, doing wonders? You stretched out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. In your steadfast love you led the people whom you redeemed. You guided them by your strength to your holy abode. You brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your own possession, the place, O God, that you made your abode, the sanctuary, O God, that your hands have made. You reign forever and ever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. I sing to you, my God, for you have triumphed gloriously. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Alleluia.